Dexter, a fawn-coloured French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. He eats food cooked especially for him, has four beds and countless tennis balls. Size small, of course. According to his human, Dexter enjoys eating, sleeping and sniffing. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning after his human leaves for work, Dexter puts on his detective hat, heads out onto the terrace, leaps onto the ledge and hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. For the second day in a row, Dexter and Peanut are joined by Lily, detective in training. Peanut steps forward. Philip, Detective Dexter will see you now. Okay, Lily, today you get to ask the important first question a detective always asks. What are you doing here? You're on the right track, but let's rephrase. Okay, what's the prob, dude? Eh, better, but uh, say it a bit more friendly. Uh, what's the prob, Bob? Oh, uh, my name is actually Philip. Oh, yeah, of course, that's just a figure of speech. Didn't mean to call you Bob. What my detective in training meant to say was, what can we help you with today? Well, my brand new bone went missing today. And since we live on the first floor of the building, I think a critter took it. Jill, a long-haired dachshund, peeks out from behind the corner of the building. Yeah, it had to have been because it wasn't me. Oh, I know it wasn't you. You were watching TV with the humans when it disappeared. Plus, you're my best friend, Jill. I trust you. A lot of things have gone missing lately. First, it was Percy's shoe, then Esther's food and nests, and now Philip's bone. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We don't know for sure if it was stolen yet. We won't know until we find some... Uh, clues? Yes, exactly. We'll need to look for clues, also known as evidence. Now, where did you last see the bone, Philip? I had been chewing on it all day in my favorite spot in the living room. Then, I heard a noise at the window. A tapping. Never heard it before. So, I went to check it out. But, there was nothing there. So, I headed back to my bone. But, it was gone. Hmm, sounds like the first place to sniff for clues is the living room. We've got a case. Detectives are coming to our apartment? Awesome! Dexter leads the way as Peanut, Lily, Philip and Jill head down to the first floor of the apartment building. They sneak in through the window and into the living room. Dexter immediately starts sniffing. Peanut and Lily follow suit. Hmm, I don't smell any type of rodent or outdoor animal smell. How about you two? Uh, nothing from this sniffer. I've got the best nose I've ever known, and I don't smell anything either. Well, if it wasn't uh, stolen, where would it be? Did you check the garbage? Good thinking, Lily. Humans love to throw away perfectly good toys right when you get them how you want them. Philip and Jill lead them to the garbage can, but when they look inside, it's empty. Mm, if the garbage was taken out, then maybe it's already in Garbage Alley. To Garbage Alley we go. Shh! Sorry. They all sneak out and walk around to the back of the building, where Gary Garbage is sitting atop his throne of trash. Howdy! What case are you solving today? We are looking for a bone. Seen any today? A bone? I've seen 50 already today. Dime a dozen in these parts. Were you here all day, Gary? No, actually, I went for a stroll around the block this afternoon. So maybe while you were gone, Percy or one of his friends took it. Nah, they stick to outdoors. Too risky to go in a building. We shall speak to him, just in case. Perhaps a friend took it. Good luck, guys! 
Let us pay Randy the raccoon a visit. Are we going to meet a real life raccoon? Oui. Let's go, gang! Hey, that sounded pretty good. Dexter, Peanut, Lily, Philip, and Jill start their journey. This is so much fun. I wish we could do this every day. Well, it's not very much fun for me. My favorite bone is missing. Oh, yeah. Sorry. After walking for nearly a mile, they finally reach the park where Randy the raccoon lives. They walk right up. Dexter perches his front paws onto the tree. Hello, it's Dexter. Percy peeks his head out of the big hole in the tree. Oh, hello there. We were just having a feast. Are you hungry? Uh, always. Uh, we could join you, but we are on the clock. Aww. Could you help us? Philip here lost her bone today, and we think it may have been thrown out into the trash. Did uh, either of you see it by chance? I'm not a snag one. I'll go get it now. Oh, I hope it's mine. Randy runs up into his little tree nook, grabs a bone, and runs back down, holding it in his mouth. Here you go. Oh, no. That's not my bone. Well, it's still a pretty good bone, don't you think? It's just not the same. Don't worry. We won't stop looking until we get to the bottom of this. Thank you for looking, guys. But I don't think we're ever going to find it. Philip plops down on the grass, defeated. Don't be sad, Philip. I think I know where your bone is. You do? Yeah, I hid it. Well, why would you do that? Well, you were spending the whole day chewing on it, and I wanted to play and spend time together. I thought if I hid your bone, we'd play and have so much fun together, you'd forget all about it. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry you felt ignored. I just really love chewing on bones. From now on, I'll make sure to reserve part of the day for sister time. You're the bestest brother ever. Sorry I wasted your time, Dexter and, and Peanut and Lily. I was just having so much fun playing detective with you, I didn't want to stop. It's okay, Jill. Don't sweat it, Jill. I like playtime with my bro, too. I am too busy to play. You know this, Lily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a big softie, and you know it. Hmm. Hey, the squirrel that squirrel just took my red bone! bone. Running towards the exit of the park, was a little brown squirrel with a puffy tail and with a big rib bone in its mouth. Lily immediately charges after it. Lily, wait! Peanut and Dexter start running after Lily. The squirrel reaches the edge of the park when a big truck with bright lights pulls up. The squirrel jumps onto the back ledge. It is the dog catcher. Turn around. Lily skids to a halt as a man walks out of the truck with a big dog catching net. She runs back to Dexter and Peanut, who are already running towards Randy the raccoon's tree. Hurry, everyone. Hide in here. Randy leads them to an even bigger tree with a hole on the bottom just big enough to fit all seven of them. They silently wait while the dog catcher walks around the park looking for them. After a few minutes, he gives up and drives away. They all slowly come out of their hiding spot. Ah, you. That was a close one. Mm, that's the same dog catcher that we saw the coyote helping. Then the squirrel must be working for the coyote too. The coyote must be recruiting more helpers. <gasps> We've got another case! Not tonight, Lily. It's getting really late. Yeah, it's way past my bedtime. We'll start on it tomorrow. Let's go home, everyone. Good night, Percy and Randy. Good night. Good night. Dexter, Peanut, Lily, Philip, and Jill all walk home. Good job today, Lily. I think you're ready to graduate from detective in training to the real deal. <gasps> oh my goodness! Really? Thank you so much. Now I'll never fall asleep. Oh no. What did I just do? <laughs>